Are you tired of inefficiently updating your listings through Seller Central one by one? If that's you, well, I'm going to show you how to update your price, quantity, and handling times in a quick, easy, efficient way. So stay tuned. Welcome back to the Sunken Stone YouTube channel, where we offer tips, tricks, and tutorials to improve your e-commerce strategy. I'm Edgar Garcia from Sunken Stone, and I'm going to show you how to use the price and quantity flat file on Amazon Seller Central to bulk update crucial information. Are you sick of updating crucial information such as prices, quantities, and handling times through Seller Central? Well, then you're probably wasting hours, and I'm going to show you a quick and easy way using the price and quantity tool to upload all this information in bulk. So there is a much easier way to update your prices, quantities, and handling times. It's not a very known way but it's a much easier way than, you know, what most sellers do, which, you know, they'll go into each listing, updating the details one by one. Well, I'm going to show you how to use the price and quantity flat file to do all of this in bulk. So let's take a look. All right. So you see here, um, we have a couple listings, um, a couple things you need to, um, have to update the prices and quantity through the flat file is all you need is a SKU and whatever information you want to update. So in this case, I want to update the price and the quantity. So you can see here 3582 and then available 30. Um, I'm going to do this to a couple listings. I'm going to do this to these two SKUs. So I'm just going to go ahead and open a new tab with the add products via upload. So once we're here, so you're going to want to go to the download and inventory file. So once you're here, you're going to see this up here up on top and this is actually to create your own flat file and we actually have a video for this so check the links down below and you'll be able to take a look at that video um, but we're going to want to scroll all the way to the bottom and then you see here this um, accordion that is um, inventory files here you want to click that and then you're going to want to click inventory updates um, you're going to want to check here and then click the price and quantity so once you click here, just go ahead and download the price and quantity file template. So let's go, go ahead and open that up. So once we were here, the, these are the, the details that we can actually change. Um, this is, um, you know, we're going to have our SKU. This is where we're going to put the SKU for the, the pieces we're going to update. So we can actually update the price, the minimum uh, seller allowed price and maximum seller allowed price quantities handling times and fulfillment channels. Um, so it's like a, a really neat tool where you can like update anything in bulk um, in a matter of seconds. So we're going to go ahead and modify the two SKUs uh, I mentioned earlier. Um, so let's go back. We wanted to change this SKU. Enable content. So we went ahead and added the first SKU. Let's go ahead and get that other SKU. We want to modify so let's take a look at the quantities we have 30 i'm going to go ahead and change it to 31 and then i'm going to change this to 36 and this to 266 for the price we're not going to change the maximum seller lot price um, but a cool thing here is you can actually um, set your minimum price as far as like um you know, the buy box for your competition. So let's say the minimum allowed price I wanted to add was 34. So if someone else has it for $34.50, you know, mine will go under that price um, to kind of undercut them and, and win the buy box. Same with here at the maximum. Let's say the maximum I would want is uh, to sell this, um, you know, is 40. So if the price in the market goes up, um, the maximum allowed uh, the maximum price that my listing will be is $40. Um, but yeah, you can feel free to change this information to kind of like, you should really do some research on the market um, for the products before you um, mess with these automations. Um, so let's change the quantity to 31. And then in handling time, let's go ahead and look at the, um, the definitions. So um, this indicates the time in days as to how much, how many days handling. So um, if you want, I think we have it at three days handling. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to one. And, um, you know, of course, the, the lower the handling time, 
um, you know, the more sales because people want their products pretty fast. And then fulfillment channel. Um, this is where you can like change um, from your your template um, that you have, whether it be like your prime template and you can like change from FBM to um, FBA here. Um, but we're going to go ahead and leave that blank. Um, but if you were to change it, you can just add your template file here. Um, and if nothing is there, it'll just, um, you know, it'll default to it, your your default template. So now that we're done editing what we wanted to change, we're going to go ahead and hit file and then save as. And then we need to save it as a tabbed limited text file. So this one right here. Um, so I'm going to just change the title. Once we're done um, saving, we're going to go ahead and go back. We're going to go to inventory, add products for upload, and then upload your inventory file. So all you got to do is just select your file. You're there, just hit upload. And then you see how it identifies the file type, um, the flat file type. We're going to go ahead and upload. So once you upload it, it's going to take a little bit of time and it's going to process. And then, you know, we'll check back in a couple minutes to see if the change is reflected. All right. So now that the file has been processed, you can actually download a processing report and it'll give you um, a text file with any like errors or, you know, how many items are successful or not. Um, so let's go ahead and see if the changes were reflected. So um, these are the two SKUs right here. So we see that the quantity went up to 31, same with this one, and the pricing as well should have gone up. So let's just double check that. Uh, yeah, so you see here, standard price 36. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Click the link below this video now and sign up for FlatFile Pro. Only the first 100 users that watch this video and register for FlatFile Pro will receive a 60-day trial. After registering, you'll be able to self-onboard or meet with an onboarding specialist that will walk you through how the tool works. So take a moment and click the link below now to finally put an end to inefficient processes and time-wasting tactics. And start enjoying and watching your business on Amazon flourish. So what's your next step? If you really want to level up your knowledge on flat files, then watch this video next. It's called the Ultimate Amazon Flat File Tutorial in 2022. And you'll learn insider secrets from me and CEO Adam Wheeler on everything you need to know about flat files in 2022. Just click on the video you see on your screen right now. I'm Edgar Garcia, and I'll see you there.